Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Amped About Aimpad. My name is Lance, and I am particularly amped about this episode. Uh, it's been several months since I have posted a video. It doesn't mean that we haven't been doing anything. We have been doing a lot, actually. Uh, we have been spending the past few months basically trying to add aimpad technology to a keyboard. So what we did was we bought this keyboard off the shelf and ripped out the circuit board and put in our, our own circuit board with our own technology to add aimpad. Uh, so if you look at this keyboard, for all intents and purposes, it looks like a normal keyboard. Um, but there's one distinct difference, it's this button right here. And what we've done is Basically, when you plug this device into a computer, it shows up as two devices, a keyboard and an Xbox 360 controller. And we wanted an elegant way to swap in between those two functions, and we decided to use the caps lock key, because the caps lock key is not really all that functional unless you want to yell at the internet. Uh, so what we've done is basically when you push this button, you'll see that it turns on these LEDs and that indicates it's in Xbox 360 mode and when I push the button here, it turns it off, now it's in keyboard mode. Um, so what that kind of looks like, if I bring up this app, it kind of gives a visual representation of what's going on with the Xbox 360 controller um, and this uh, word. Basically, right now, because the lights are, are off, I know that I'm in uh, Keyboard mode, so keyboard mode, so I can type whatever I want to. If I hit this button, now that it activates the Xbox 360 controller, so I'm not typing anything because the keyboard keys are disabled. Um, but it does allow me to move nice, smooth movements of the left analog stick, nice, smooth movements of the, the left and right uh, uh, triggers. I can control the right analog stick with the arrow keys, uh, A and B. And X and Y and all the other Xbox buttons are all activated on this device at this time, but I can hit the button and back to typing, hit the button, back to the Xbox 360 controller. So an immediate swap in between those two functions. So uh, how does that practically matter? Well, let's say you are in the middle of a game playing The Binding of Isaac and uh, you basically are on the run of your life, you're having a good time, uh, you have all these awesome items, and uh, by the way, Binding of Isaac Rebirth does have analog movement, so you can see I can push down slightly and Isaac will move slow, I can push down fast and he'll run fast, so you have actually full control and more than just those 45 degree angles and 90 degree angles, you, you can move in any direction that you want and as smooth as you want um, and you know shoot at the same time. So. Uh, anyways, back to my thought. So say you're playing the game and uh, someone sends you a message on Steam and he's like, Hey buddy, what's going on? And so what? I, like, I have a keyboard underneath my fingertips, so all I have to do is hit this button. It's a keyboard. I do my shift tab and I'm like, Oh, hey Brutus, what's going on, man? And then I can hit the uh, shift tab to go back out, hit my key again, and it's, it's back to being an Xbox 360 controller with my smooth movement. So a smooth, intuitive transition between those two functions and you want it right next to your hand where you're playing because if you want to trash talk to someone you don't want to like have to flip a switch or hit a button way up here and then, then go back and then go back over here again and things like that you want it here where your hands are going to be so having that, that caps, lock be, be, caps lock key be the key that you want is, is, uh, is a, a nice immediate feature and uh, I think it's pretty effective so, um, so that, that's, that's one thing um, the other thing that allows you to do is, let me back out here, um, you can do some creative things with having analog keys immediately in your, the area that you're going to be using. So uh, using Pinnacle Game Profiler, uh, shout out to Rob, uh, if you basically map the Xbox 360 controller to the mouse movement, uh, you can do some pretty cool things. So uh, back to, to Word. Let's say I want to uh, not use the, the process of going back and forth between my mouse and highlighting and then typing and then go back to my mouse and then highlight and typing. Um, you basically have the ability to control the mouse and the mouse is super small so I'll see if I can show you. But basically I'm, I'm using the keys here to move smoothly. So if I move back and forth, left and right, I can move it slow, I can move it fast. I can move it up and down at more than just straight up and down 
movements, I can go left and right and 45 and 46 and any angle that I want. And I can hold down the, uh, the space bar, which is the left click button. So say I, I want to highlight this, I would use the space bar to do that, hit the button, now it's in keyboard mode, and I can make my edits. Um, all without having to switch back and forth between the mouse and keyboard because I have a mouse function right underneath my fingertips. Um, so that that's one one nice thing. It, it's I mean it's not perfect by any means. It's it's not as precise as using a mouse, but I would think it along the lines of as effective as the little red nub that you have on old IBM keyboards or on the Lenovo keyboards and things like that. Um, it's but you have a nice elegant straight look that doesn't have a, the red thing and you can still use custom keycaps and all that stuff if, if you're into that. Um, so, so really the, the whole defining feature of this keyboard is the aimpad technology but it's not intrusive, it's not in the way all the time. You just hit the button and it's there and you hit the button and it's not there and it fades away so it's a normal keyboard and it doesn't interfere with that process of using it as a normal keyboard but when you do want the analog movement when you're pl playing games um, you just hit the button that's right there where, where your hands are already going to be and you're off and playing with, with analog movement. So hopefully that's kind of sparked your interest to, or have you thinking of different ways that you can use analog keys outside of, uh, of gaming. There's other applications that you can use for it. Um, so we're really excited about where we are at with Aimpad at this point and uh, hope that you see the potential of where we're going. Hopefully we'll have some uh, announcements in the, in the upcoming months or so and uh, hopefully have something that you guys can actually buy uh, towards the end of this year. Alright, it's been a fun time and hope that we'll have more games that I can show you at some point. And uh, as always, if you are interested, subscribe. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.